Hello, my name is Milan Mirtic and today I'm here to represent my project. Now, what is the idea behind this project? A lot of people nowadays tend to learn to play the guitar over the internet. Now, those explanations and those lessons are excellent. They can really teach you how to play the song. However, the problem occurs when you want to become more independent. Those teachers don't actually tell you what chord are you playing. That's when you need to look for some kind of help over the internet. I had that same problem and that's how I knew from my bad experience that there is no such app or software that can help you recognize the chords that you're playing. Now, what is this app or this idea that I made supposed to do? It is supposed to listen to you while playing and show you on the screen what chords are you playing. Now, how was this supposed to be made? Well, my initial thought is to make a neural network, so basically an artificial intelligence project that will just collect a lot of uh, type of chords played in different ways, in different ambience, with different guitars, different amps, different type of uh, sounding equipment. And then the neural network will listen to you and tell you what are you playing. However, uh, that was not such an easy project. The first and the biggest problem was what to use. My first idea was to use a TensorFlow, uh, the most popular uh, solution for making neural networks. With TensorFlow, I planned on using uh, TensorFlow speech commands model, which is the most famous model for making audio projects with neural networks. However, after doing some more research, uh, I found out that there is something called Google Teachable Machine. What this does is it uses the same TensorFlow model, so TensorFlow speech commands model, but it has a friendlier user interface and it can show you the results of your artificial intelligence exactly when you make it. So if you make something and you want to see how it works, you do not have to wait to outsource it to somewhere else. You can just see it inside the Teachable Machine page. Now, how was this actually done? Well, what I did, is uh, use multiple guitars, multiple, multiple equipment for recording, multiple amp settings uh, to record hundreds uh, of examples of the chords. Of course, the chords were played differently and that's how I made the database. Uh, for this project, I chose to only record three chords, but three chords that can be really recognized well. Uh, so I did that. And the Teachable Machine really helped with that, since I can record inside of it and then see the results. The percentages of recognizing chords are excellent. It ranges from 70% to 100% most of the times, which is excellent since it's such a small project. Of course, if you, if you play a chord that is not inside that database, uh, it will either try to recognize it as some other chord or as a background noise, which, of course, is not a perfect solution. However, it is good just for the beginning. Now, what are my further ideas with this? Of course, I want to record all the basic chords that one guitar playing beginner can use. And I want the results to range from 90 to 100% recognition, which is my last call. Now, one great thing about Google Teachable Machine is that it lets you download the model that you just made. Now, one of the ways that you can download it is as a TensorFlow Lite model. Now, what is this used for? TensorFlow Lite is uh, a model also made in TensorFlow, uh, but it can be adapted to, uh, to mobile platforms. For this project, uh, my platform of choice is Flutter, as it is the best cross-platform option uh, for this type of AI projects. Flutter uses Dart, which is not that popular. However, Flutter is really good optimized for both Android Studio and Xcode, which are used for making Android apps and iOS apps. I think that it is a, a big project for guitar, for guitar playing community, uh, and it will take some time to, to make. However, when it becomes a real app, a real final project, I think that it will help a lot and mean a lot to our society. Thank you for watching.